Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are back with you today with a very um, popular segment on this channel. It is another hair dye video. It has been long coming. I've let my hair get kind of like very blah, I guess is the way to call it. It didn't look bad. I haven't been unhappy with it, which is why I haven't like felt a need to dye it, but we dyed it before we went to Disney. We went to Disney in August and it is now November 2nd. So <laughs> it's been a hot minute. Part of the reason I've waited so long is because I want this one to be an intricate one. And uh, I knew it was gonna take a long time and I'm lazy. And also we were trying to get a lot of Halloween content out there for you for uh, Spooktober. And now that that has ended, I figured now would be a good time to go ahead and do this because it is necessary. Now we're actually going to be doing a, we're going back to the purple. Honestly, if it were up to me, I probably would be going straight red again. Everybody really liked the Arctic Fox video. It's at 4,000 views, which is incredible to me. A lot of people have requested you know, hey, let's see an update. Hey, let me know like what it was, all that kind of good stuff. So just because of the popularity of that video, because I still have a ton of Arctic Fox products in purple, violet, and red, I wanted to give you guys um, a cool updated look where I did something a little different. I'm going to mix dark purple and red, and then I'm gonna mix violet and red, and I'm gonna do like an ombre look where I do darker on top, and then it kind of fades into like a lighter, probably more pinky red at the bottom. So we'll see how it looks. Um, the way I feel about hair dye at this point is if I really hate it, I have about four boxes of red that I can go fix it real quick. Um, and if I like it, then cool. I get to have some really cool colored hair for a little bit. So uh, we're gonna do this. Um, I do wanna go ahead and say before, I know I've talked a lot at this point, but before we jump into it, thank you guys so incredibly much for the amount of support you showed us during the 100 subscriber giveaway. We gained almost double the amount of subscribers we had. We were at 96 on the day, the start of the day where we hit 100 and then um, going through the giveaway, we finished at 179, which is incredible. I can't believe um, how quickly we gained so many amazing people and just the amount of love and support you've shown us so far is incredible. And I'm so happy to have you guys in the Dark Angel family. So yeah, so at the end of this video, I will be doing the giveaway winner announcement. We did choose them yesterday. Yesterday was November 1st, today's November 2nd. Hopefully we'll have this video up sometime soon, but we'll see what happens. Editing is a challenge, especially when you're doing what we're doing, which is still working full time. So, so that being said, uh, look out for that at the end of the video. And we will also be announcing our next giveaway because we really, um, I just want to thank you guys for the amount of like support you've shown. It's not going to be quite like soon, but it is going to come up within the next few months. And I do want to give you guys the details about what to expect with that one. So now that I've rambled a whole bunch, we are jumping into the Arctic Fox hair dye. So like I said, I have used the Violet Dream. I have used Wrath, but I have never opened Purple Rain. So we'll see what Purple Rain winds up doing. Um, I did want to mix it with the red because a lot of people suggested when I did the red and it was the Wrath, it was a little bit um, too light for me. Ooh. Oh, I opened this color and I could feel my mom's getting sadder by the minute. That's purple. That's purple. She's not going to be happy. <laughs> Duh, she's out of town right now. She's going to come home and be like, oh, <laughs> it's fine. She handles it well, she's a trooper. Arctic Fox seems to be one of those hair dyes that you can really mix like the color and create your own and it works very well normally. God, it just smells so good. I had a couple of different people say like, oh, this is what it smells like. And I'm like, yo, you're kind of right though. Like that does smell like that. But I also still smell that L'Oreal kids color thing that I told you about when I'm in the last video, the L'Oreal like no tears that I used to bring with me to, to swim lessons. That's kind of a pretty color. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix a little bit more. I have no idea what to expect with this. I'm not gonna lie. The idea really is that it's gonna be like all through here is gonna be like darker and then just like the ends are gonna fade into the color. But uh, that could wind up not happening at all. I'm not gonna ever market myself as a hairstylist or anything like that. Uh, I probably shouldn't be doing this, but you know, every time I've done it, it's not turned out terrible. So I just keep doing it. I just keep going for it and you guys keep watching it. So I just keep, it just keeps encouraging me. So thanks. <laughs> all right, uh, I think I've, uh, just mixed enough at this point, just delayed the inevitable at this point. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, I do have all of my standard tools, my pick and my comb, my little clampy. I brought a bigger Tristy for when I start doing the, um, the lighter colors down at the bottom. And then I've got my hair dye brush, which is a specific brush that I use uh, only for brushing out the hair dye. And then I have my normal brush so I could get the tangles out before we started dyeing. So here goes nothing. I feel like it's been a century since I've dyed my hair. So I'm like, I don't remember what I do. Is this right? Is it wrong? Who knows? It smells so dang good. I want to eat my own head. Is that weird? Probably weird. But I do want to talk about, I bought, and we're going to do a haul video. 
probably directly after we finish with this video if we we're going to film that. But I, I bought a new hair dye brand that I've been seeing a lot about, like a ton about on the internet. I have really high hopes that they're going to be um, probably one of my new favorite hair dyes, just if they can do what they promised to do, which is basically create a, um, a hair dye that is all organic, it's paraben free, uh, non-GMO, uh, sulfate free, like the list goes on and on. It's gluten free. It's, it's just like everything you could possibly think about that's like a toxin to put in your body that might somehow negatively impact you. Uh, it's taken out of this hair dye and it is made with argan oil. Um, oh, I had the list of, Ar it was argan oil, biotin, and another one that I cannot remember at the moment. But the idea is that uh, it basically takes all the um, natural elements that are really healing for your hair and it utilizes them to put in that dye rather than util utilizing things that are harsh chemicals to put in the dye. So because of that, they don't do like a lot of crazy colors, but they do have a few really pretty shades of red. And we all know like red is gonna be my home color from now on. Like I, I may do purple or, you know, something else here and there, but that's going to be my, my, my go-to color because I really have just loved the way that my red has um, looked. So, uh, I bought it in like a shade Garnet and in a shade uh, darker than that, like almost like a, it's almost like a really dark purple red, but uh, I'm really excited to test that out and see what's going to happen with that. Um, so, when you get the next hair dye video, it will definitely be, and the name of the company is called Madison Reed. I don't know if I mentioned that already. And I love the TikToks of the Joker. Oh my god, they're so, because it's like. I mean, I love the movie. I've seen it twice now, and I really like the movie, but it, it's, it's just so memeable in it so many really areas. So <laughs> like, memeable. It's so, like, I thought that during the movie, I thought while watching that, I was like, this movie is so memeable. It's so great, but like at the same time, there's just some things that are like so weird, mm -hmm. and that's like what was necessary in the moment, but it's yeah. just like, Because mm. it works so well. It I does, mean, it Rocky really does. Phoenix's choices really like, do you just, do you just die? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, my god. This is the mistake with wearing makeup while doing this. I've never dyed my hair while wearing makeup before, so I'm like, <laughs> there's like purple everywhere. Do you see how this dog is laying? Yeah, at least she stopped like flipping. Yeah. Literally every time we start the camera, she's just like, I'm gonna do somersaults, flip. And you're like, all of a sudden the audio is just like thump, thump, thump. And you're like, Rocky. Well, it's funny cause like, I mean, and I know a lot of YouTubers cause you're filming in your house 95% of the time. Mm -hmm. So some, some YouTubers, like big ones, may have studios separate from their areas, but it just isn't really conducive to life. Um, so most people do film from their house, and when you're filming from your house, obviously you're going to have, you know... Yeah, you're going to have those moments. Those moments. And uh, one of the... Because a lot of the YouTube videos... A little backstory about me. A lot of YouTubers that I watch are actually the ones that tell, like, true scary stories. Um, so they'll get, like, you know, stuff from... Uh, let's not meet and um they'll have viewers submit stories and things like that and one of them that i follow he has a baby and sometimes you can hear in the background the baby crying and he's always like i'm so sorry like i apologize but you know like we tried to put her down for a nap and then that didn't work out and that i was out of time and i had to film so i was like i totally understand it and i think honestly for me i like it because it makes it a little bit more like relatable and there's also something about like in the middle of like a scary story you just hear like this random baby crying that's like even if it has nothing to do with the story it makes it a little creepier so like he always apologizes for it but i'm like i kind of love that like that's just like something that i dig right. ah, i keep hitting my face i'm gonna be purple by the end of this i'm gonna look like barney funny story about me as a child since we're just telling funny stories in this one, apparently. Um, I loved Baby Bop on Barmy, like loved Baby Bop as a little green one. And I absolutely loved her. And my parents got me a lot of Barney stuff because I loved her so much. We had this like, this little, it was giant to me when I was like three or four, but it probably was like no bigger than like two feet tall, but it was a little punching bag. Like one of the blow up ones that has sand in the bottom. So it like bounces back. And it was one side was Baby Bop and one side was Barney. And I used to hug the Baby Bop side and I used to hit the shit out of Barney. Like I would just be like, boof, and it would go like flying across the room. And I don't know why I hated Barney that much at a young age, but I loved Baby Bop and I just did not like Barney at all. No, I get that though. Like I, I like, never liked I was like, watching Barney. Barney, get out of here. This I, is me and Baby Bop's time. I felt like Barney was just kind of creepy. Like, it's a good sentiment, but, like, at the same time, it's just, like, his dead eyes really messed yeah, me up. Like, he's a giant, like, purple dinosaur, <laughs> like, with his arms out, because he, he's so fat, he can't bring them in. Okay, he's a T-Rex, first of all, so have you never seen a T-Rex? Yeah, but T-Rexes can at least do that. <laughs> 
It's like if you took an air hose and you attach it to a T Rex and you go. <laughs> yes, that's what it, I always thought that was really weird. <laughs> Oh, when did this become a bullying channel? <laughs> I'm sorry, Barney. <laughs> Barney, boom roasted. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Barney. All right, moving on. I'm going to go ahead and do the second color now. <laughs> so we're going to take the violet. We're going to take the violet. We're just going to pour the violet in. I had to make sure that it was the right, because the violet and the purple dream are, like, really close. Oh, I'm sorry, purple rain, violet dream. That's what it is. So I don't know if you guys can see the color. But uh, I'm really worried if I do a, uh, an ombre of it, it's going to wind up being like two totally different colors on my head. Maybe add a little bit more purple to it. Maybe. It's pretty though. It's like a pretty it shade. A, it's gorgeous. It's, yeah. I just don't know how it's going to look. It almost looks like a cranberry. Yeah. Almost like cranberry. <laughs> Get out of here, LeBron. And I feel like, no lie, I love you guys, and I know you're, like, super supportive, but I feel like every time you watch one of my hair dye videos, it's because you're waiting for a train wreck to happen. And I don't blame you, because I also am waiting for a train wreck to happen. So, like, same boat. I'm also going to pre-apologize, because we filmed, like, 50 videos that we just are waiting to post and still need to be edited. So, uh, I'm sure there's going to be some bounce around between, like, when I have, like, my old, like, faded red hair and when I have, like, purple ombre hair, and you're going to be like... What is happening right now? And it's because we filmed most of that like a month ago and uh, we just have not posted it yet, so. I actually really like this cranberry color though. Like I'm half tempted to for Christmas, like do this color again. Just that. Just the, this on my whole head because I think mm -hmm. it's gonna be kind of red, but it's gonna have like just like a touch darker to it and it's gonna look really pretty for like holiday stuff. And my mom's gonna be like, why is your hair this color for holiday stuff? And I'm gonna be like, <laughs> Lynn. Okay, so as I was cleaning out the bowl and I was washing it down the sink, um, the second color was like vibrant pink. I mean like pink. Uh, so we'll see how this winds up looking. Um, I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm incredibly nervous. I'm going to off camera blow dry my hair and then in about 40 minutes I will shower, wash it out, and then I'm going to fix my hair, curl my hair so it's nice and pretty for you guys, and uh, we'll come back and see how the final product looks, and we'll announce the giveaway winner, and um, before we go into that, I will go ahead and say, for the 250 subscriber giveaway, this is what we're thinking. Um, we figured that we would probably be hitting 250 right around the Christmas time holiday season. Obviously, I'm going to be buying a lot of the good deals from Ulta because you guys know that's what I like to do. I have a good pile of stuff that we still want to give away. And we saw just such a beautiful outpour of support from that 100 subscriber giveaway that we just wanted to thank you guys. It's really, I mean, like, if we get more subscribers from it, great. But we really just wanted to say thank you guys so much. Um, because we only chose one winner, I figured it'd be a good time to go ahead and do another giveaway, kind of like a natural time to be giving the season of given of given of giving um the season of giving and everything so it's a good opportunity to go ahead and give another one of our wonderful supporters um a little bit of goodies to say thank you um from nikki and i for the amount of support that you've shown us so far um i just i can't express how grateful we are about how quickly we've grown for such a new channel it's amazing and um you guys have all just been kind and supportive and i keep waiting for like negative comments to come in and they just haven't come yet so i hope they stay away as long as possible because the the love and the support that we feel here on this page is just it's, it's unmatchable and i want to really thank you guys so sincerely thank you guys for all the support uh we'll be announcing the giveaway winner at the end of this video when my hair's all did and then uh yeah stay tuned <laughs> So I'm not gonna lie, I was really worried about this going into it, especially with how much I was in love with the red. I was doing a lot, mixing colors. We weren't really sure how it was gonna turn out. I am 100% in love with this. This is my favorite purple look that I've pulled off so far. I'm really glad it was the first purple look that I was able to do on video because I really just did not expect to like it that much. Like I said, I'm not a hairstylist, I'm not a hair, a professional hair dyer or anything like that. But every time I do my hair, I'm actually a little bit more impressed with like my ability to do it, which like, I mean, hopefully it helps you guys kind of see that you can do it on your own as long as you like take the time and kind of think through the way to do it. Um, Cause it, it really is more affordable to do it at home. It's just whether or not you can, you're comfortable pulling it off and it, it's gonna be something that you're comfortable with and that you like doing. That being said, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I really, really love it. I told Nikki we still have more of each three of the bottles left. I probably will do this, maybe not right away, 
Uh, maybe I'll take some time, go back to red, and then come back to it. But I really like how this looks, and I really would wear this again. So I'm really excited that you guys were able to see that kind of come to fruition. It was an idea I've had in my head for like uh, two or three months now, and I was like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull it off, but I really, really like it. So I know you guys are really waiting for <laughs> the moment of truth, the winner of the giveaway. Um, so we did choose the winner yesterday. The winner is Jenny, but really everybody who entered, thank you so much. That is why we're doing the 250 subscriber giveaway so soon. Um, really, uh, the intention was we were going to do the 100 subscriber giveaway and then wait to do like a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. But you guys have just been so incredible and so giving in terms of support to us. We want to give something back to you. So thank you guys so much for subscribing, for joining the Dark Angel family. We really cannot thank you enough. Um, I continue to encourage you to share it and um, hopefully recruit some of your friends to join our family as well. The faster we grow, obviously, the more giveaways and that kind of cool stuff we'll be able to do because that means like we'll be bringing in actually some money at some point and be able to put more into the business. So anyway, that's not really the point. I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for everything that you've given us so far. We really cannot thank you for the amount of support you've shown. Um, that being said, if you're a new viewer here, thank you for joining us. Please hit that subscribe and the notification bell so you can join us on our crazy journey and enter the next giveaway. And, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the page a whole lot. So, as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.